Let's talk about DCC and how to connect it to an Arduino. Digital Command Control, or DCC, is a standard for a system to operate model railways digitally. When equipped with Digital Command Control, locomotives on the same electrical section of track can be independently controlled. DCC was developed under contract by Lenz Electronic in the 1980s for two German model railway manufacturers, Märklin and Arnold. DCC is not the only command control system. Märklin Digital and Selectrix are others, and some command stations can even output multiple systems like DCC and Märklin Digital at the same time. With DCC, the voltage to the track is a bipolar DC signal. This results in a form of alternating current, but the DCC signal does not follow a sine wave. Instead, the command station quickly switches the direction of the DC voltage, resulting in a modulated pulse wave. The length of time the voltage is applied in each direction provides the method for encoding data. To represent a binary one, the time is short, normally 58 microseconds for a half cycle, while a zero is represented by a longer period normally at least 100 microseconds for a half cycle. The ones and zeros together form a pulse train. Putting them in the right order following the Anamaray DCC standard will result in valid DCC packets. To connect an Arduino to the DCC system we will need a simple hardware interface. An optocoupler, a diode and a few resistors is all that is needed to bring down the higher DCC voltage down to 5 volts usable by the Arduino. It is important to know that we need to use Arduino Digital Pin 2 because we use a function on the Arduino called Interrupt Service Routine. By default this is available on Digital Pin 2 on Arduino Uno, Nano and Mini. Fortunately we do not have to get deep into programming the Interrupt Service Routine and DCC timing. All the heavy lifting is already done and there are two different Arduino libraries that I know of that work perfectly using this hardware interface. We can thank the developers behind the Miner Bay and the model railroading with Arduino libraries for making it easier for us. For the DCC monitoring sketch used in this video I forked the Miner Bay library and made a few small alterations. You can download it from my GitHub. You will find the links to my GitHub and the libraries down below. If you download the sketch from my GitHub, you only need to compile and upload it to the Arduino. Make sure you have the right Arduino type and serial port selected in the Arduino IDE. To compile and upload, use the right arrow and wait for the upload to complete. After the upload has finished, you can open the serial monitor. Make sure you have selected the correct baud rate and you should see similar information in your serial monitor. The Arduino DCC monitor sketch will update every 2 seconds and give us information about total packet count, idle packet count and preamble size. If the packet count is zero, this will mean that no valid DCC packets have been received. In this example, this is because we still have to enable the track power. Once I press the go button on my command station, we will start seeing DCC packets coming in. And pressing the stop button will end the DCC generation. Well, that's it for now. In the next video, we will use this interface to build a local net and DCC booster. And if you've enjoyed this video, like, comment or subscribe.